spoken <coughs> with or communicated with the union negotiator for the Uniform Employees Union and Richard Gross, first open date is July 15th. So that's the first meeting we're going to have. My committee's not here today, but they already know. <laughs> and uh, at that point in time, we'll listen to what the union has to offer and we'll come back to the council. The next meeting, we'll probably have an executive session to go. And that's kind of the way I anticipate these sessions going. So uh, I want to let you know that. <coughs> The financial reports for the second quarter will be brought before the council on July 21st workshop, and then we'll, you know, go for approval on the 28th. Uh, I was also at AWC, and I want to thank the council for sending me. One of the things I found out, I think I spoke to you last year, saying that we do quarterly reports, even though the auditors said we didn't have to. Well, a finance director that was teaching some of the classes, the courses at AWC. Uh, the conference stated that they are legally bound, so I said I get to the bottom of this. But we're doing it anyway, regardless. But I was curious as to, and he's been doing the job for 30 years, so I think he would know that. So we're going to continue to do that. Everything it looks like it's working just fine, and the advice is going well. So hope to have some good reports for you on the 21st of July. I want to thank the council for sending me to the AWC conference. It was um, interesting, eye opening, and I did learn quite a bit. Uh, some of the courses I took, one was review, Renewing Economic Vitality. There was a lot that I could tell the council, but I don't want to spend too much time here. So the, the key point to me was um, about businesses, that they go where they are wanted and they stay where they are appreciated. And that speaks to me of, of communication both from the businesses to the council and staff to understand their needs so that they can, will stay because they are appreciated. And hopefully we can learn from this and, and continue to communicate with our businesses and learn to communicate with businesses not here to see how we can attract them. Um, one of the courses I was interested in was diagnosing the city's physical health. And this was from a, a point of view not of an accountant. So I took my accountant hat off and I was sitting there listening to what the teacher had to say about you know, how the council and the mayor looks at, and the city administrator too, will look at um, what reports to look at, what's important to understand about the city. And hopefully this can help me to communicate reports to you that you want to see, not that I want to show you. Hopefully between the two of us we can come up with some good, you know, account, account of reports that are not just fund accounting or for the auditors, but something that will speak to what you want to see, whether it be graphs or however, trends, things like that. So going forward, I'd like to make sure we incorporate that in. Uh, also about communicating with trust among the stakeholders and what's important about transparency and accountability, and I think you've heard that from me, but I'm going to continue to promote that. <clears throat> I also went to a course on the Capital Facilities Plan, and we're working on ours, the CIP, but there was a lot of information that's going to help me to work with Ken and with Jim Morgan about how we can define it financially, the policies that drive it, and the goal accomplishments, and how it's all tied to the budget. And I proceed doing that within the next year, so by the end of the year we have these down for the new budget. Um, finally, the one thing that continues, and I'm not saying this to butter my boss, but how many people know Leanne, and we're like a small city and there's a lot of bigger cities there, but the people that, that come up to her and talk about how you know amazing it is with the recovery in Pacific and that it's really positive. The article that was out there that most people have read that were at the conference were really positive and supportive from cities like Auburn and Federal Way to other cities throughout the valley and um, throughout the area. So I was um, impressed because of just how they were, and it was really enjoyable to hang out and meet these new people that I had no idea that they were council members <coughs> and mayors, so, and from Covington too, so. Um, that's my report. Any questions? Yes. Just one comment for you, that actually the uh, quarterly reporting was an issue that came <coughs> up uh, during the prior administration. Uh, at a time when the city clerk's office was vacant and we had a finance director who was terrified that she was going to get uh, uh, caught on this. Under the RCW, that's actually an obligation of the city clerk to make that report quarterly, so it's <laughs> not your job. Oh, it's her. But it does need to be done. Yeah, and we did do it so the last yeah. three quarters, so we're, yeah. we're on it, but I knew that was why when I heard from the auditors, maybe their aspect was, no, you don't have to do it, but yeah, she does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like that. She's a <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right, of course. I don't have any information, but if anybody has any questions, I can answer. Any questions for Kelly? Thanks, Kelly. All right, thank you. Uh, just a little information, booklet on the bicycle 
Buffalo Rodeo. I was there. It was very well. I was very very prepared for it. We had people show up to help. <laughs> Mayor Mayor was was there and many council members. Uh, hey, thank you for supporting the rodeo. Are there questions on anything on the pamphlet for the event? Lieutenant Massey and Stephanie put all our work into it. It is a lot of fun. I have, uh, I don't have anything else to add. It's been kind of quiet. If there's any questions? Yes? Uh, just one, the uh, earlier public comment mentioned that people have been uh, threatened with having the police called for using what is actually a public <coughs> park. Do the officers have a good inventory of what is actually a public park, even if it happens to have somebody else's car that's parked on it? Do they have that list of which which parcels actually are public property that people are allowed to be on? I don't know. I doubt it. I, I think that might be something the park board would like to provide to the police department. Be more than happy to. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we'll get to the bottom of this. Yeah. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay. Come back. I just have a couple of things. There are numbers for the April uh, amounts of participations for the Senior Center and also for the gym in your packets. Is there any questions on those? Just a reminder about the pancake breakfast uh, Saturday, July 12th from 8 till 10.30 at the Senior Center that will benefit the youth and the seniors. We're having pancakes and sausage. So far, unless we get eggs or something else donated. But so far, that's what's on the menu. It's $5 for adults, children 12 and under is 
What time does it start? Eight o'clock. Eight until ten thirty. Yes, at the senior center. Uh, Joanne Fudge at the, at the um, gym asked, asked me to say that uh, Julie Murphy from the A, A, A CAP, sorry, from Head Start has, was in last week to evaluate some of our younger citizens of Pacific to see if they qualify for early Head Start. And uh, Debbie Howard with the King County Library has also been in touch with Joanne about the summer um, <coughs> uh, library uh, books. Van. I can't remember what that's called. Bookmobile. Bookmobile. Uh, how did I forget that? <laughs> the bookmobile coming to um, Pacific and parking probably in 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 uh, her lot. And that's all I have. Is there any questions? Right there? I might. I'll call you. Thank you. And we meet again on the first. Our first. Is on the first. Five thirty. Five thirty. All right. Good deal. Thank you. Over at the thing is in the front. Yes, over at the thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. All right, this is the second. I know. Oh, is that the mistake? We, we agreed at the last meeting that I was going to be on the invite, so I will be back and forth. You're supposed to just know. <laughs>
next finance committee meeting is July 8th. Okay.
So we are having an exciting summer this year. We will be out at Pacific Days trying to drum up support for our parks. And I now work in uh, right next to the city of Seattle, so I went over there to talk to their parks department to see how we could drum up community support because, as we've all discussed, the maintenance at some of our parks isn't up to standard right now. And so they are sending me their guide to how we can get community, i.e. the neighbors who keep their lawns so pretty, to keep our parks prettier. And so we're going to work on maybe doing some community outreach to the communities around our parks so that um, better viewing of bad things that don't happen in our parks anymore and maybe some prettier upcakes. Because as I've talked about before, one of the issues with the parks, which I didn't know about until I went around as a landscaper, <coughs> is we put in mm, plants that require individual weeding instead of mowing. And so in order to get out and weed 17 parks, we would need the million dollars he just put in a bond. Because that's how much it would cost for people to weave. But if we got community support, we might be able to um, get other people to do it and we don't have to pay for it. So that's going to be our next big thing is trying to get more community involvement in our parks. Do you have any questions about the parks? Yes. Uh, I realize you haven't received their information yet, but uh, did you have any discussion with them on uh, uh, when you're out for a park to community park maintenance to community volunteers uh, dealing with the uh, labor union side of that since it's currently bargain work? So, here's the deal. They can't use motorized because we've dealt with this before. When because we, we this is not our first time at the rodeo trying to do this. <laughs> Um, they can't use power equipment. They can only use their hands. So as long as they spread the bark by rake or they pull the weeds by hand, the union in past years have not had an issue. We do have a group that goes down to, oh my gosh, I always get it wrong. It's one of the fruits, either rhubarb or beaver or otter or something like that. <laughs> yeah, it's a fruit. Blueberry. It's the one down there. <laughs> and they, once a year, go down and they clean the park. And the union has never had an issue with a once a year clean. So I, I would believe, but maybe we should ask the lawyer before we allow anyone to weed our park. But I don't think they would care because I don't think anyone on public works wants to get down on their hands and knees and weed. Yeah. No. So I was just wondering if they have a standard form they use for uh, making it officially okay. You know, I don't know, but I can walk across the street tomorrow and ask them. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions for the park board? Oh, all right. So planning. <coughs> Uh, planning Commission meets tomorrow night, 6 o'clock. We have uh, some very interesting things on the agenda. So. Well, I'm sure you Perfect. Mm -hmm. County Regional Council. Mm -hmm. Some cities association at 10. I was unable to attend both of those. Valley Regional Fire Authority, anything to report? I missed Boston. That's right. Uh, nope. Yeah, I'm busy. I've been came up with the Yes, they will. They'll even have, I, I believe, um, they're even going to be on call for anything that looks like an explosive device that they need to handle themselves so that they have enough fleet. But they will be out patrolling. They have extra guys out going, out going around in the neighborhood so that they can notify the police. So, and they have a drop off place, and um, Chief Hopkins has already spoke with a determine where the drop off place is, whether they're going to store any confiscated fireworks and stuff like that. And we'll be using the, the, the van to go there. Do we destroy them in house or do we take them somewhere? That's what they have. We are a and a storage. We just pause them and then they do with it, like whatever they do. Yeah. 